Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Guess what we're here, doing here today. We go again. <laughs> Can you see the U-Haul in the back of the window? Can you see it back there? Yeah. Here we, we are, are. Abbey Heart Treasures. Oh. There we go. On the road again. <laughs> On the road again. Hey, we're Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Great homers of stuff. Everybody's stuff. And sometimes... <laughs> Going to Utica, Nebraska. That's right. So we got a story to tell. Yeah. Um, by the way. By the way. You know, I never know just how large of a person I am until I see these videos when I'm driving and the steering wheel is so low and I'm so close to the top. You're it's kind of weird when I see it, but yeah, I should probably have one of them big pickups and stuff. But anyway. Rip. So <laughs> it was Junk John and a guy that we know. He had a booth at Junk John, and after the sale, he was driving home, and his engine seized up, and he's got a like a cargo van full of stuff that he was bringing home, and he said he's done with it. He's the van is gone; it's done. Like he, the engine seized up, and he's just got to empty it out. So he said he he's done with it. He don't care about the stuff. He'd sell it to us really cheap, like a dollar an item. So we said uh, okay. So that's what we're doing. We're going to meet him there, and we're going to load up whatever he's got. He's in a picture. It looked like about 20 totes and boxes. So anyway, we're going to go get some stuff. So we hope it's good stuff, but that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And here's our view from this morning. For those of you that think Nebraska is only flats and only has cornfields and Look at those fields. hills. We got hills Look and at trees. All these, all these mountains. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's about a 40 minute drive to there. So I'll stop and get gas at some point. But yeah, that's what we're doing. And we're just, coffee. We're just uh, driving, driving, driving. Gas and coffee. We need that. Yes. So here we go. Okay, guys, we are just outside of you in Utica, actually, at the gas station. Just filled up the tank. Um, the U-Haul is what, Donna? <laughs> full. Fuller than fuller than full. Yeah, more stuff than we really anticipated. We didn't have to put anything in the van except for a couple pieces. That's why I'm side, sitting on the dash because they're eight foot tables. Yeah, she's like <laughs> scooted up because we got eight foot tables. We're going to help him and take him back to his house for him. Um, and we're gonna that was a big van. have lunch with him, but man, that van held Extended a lot of stuff. Extended cargo van. We didn't even think about getting the camera because there was so much stuff. Like we just started and working dust. and stacking and everything, and it was in a salvage yard, and the, the wind. wind's blowing, and so it was just dirt and dust just blowing. Um, so that's one thing about Nebraska; it's windy. Yeah, sometimes it's windy all across the plains. Um, we don't. We're gonna settle up with him later. We know him. Um, he said really cheap. He says, but we'll figure it out later. He's not worried about it. Um, so we're not quite sure what we're paying yet, but there's a lot of stuff, probably a lot of good stuff, honestly. So, mm -hmm. um, we're just anyway, helping rehome stuff. We're going to go to a little town called Goner and have lunch with him. He's very appreciative because he didn't have to come try to figure out how to get this all home. So yeah, we're going to have lunch and then we're going to dig through this and we'll probably do some filming and show some boxes yeah. of what we got. Cause I hope it all fits in the garage. There's a lot. <laughs> I hope it all fits in the garage. Well, we've been down that road before. We'll be all right. We'll figure it out. It's a stack high. However, I hate to say this, but I don't know if we're going to be able to go garage selling tomorrow. Oh. We got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Anyway, all right, we'll catch up in a little bit. All right, so we are back home, and Donna did some rearranging, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... If you watch our videos, you know that we were like, "Oh, we're gonna get all that stuff listed from the garage sales," and almost. And we're getting, we're trying, and now we have a whole trailer full of stuff. So we moved some stuff. We got this section here, so we're gonna stack stuff. But let's. We talked at lunch. We had a nice lunch with the guy, and we came up to a price, and we did pay him. So we've paid four hundred dollars for this. So four hundred dollars for this trailer full of stuff. We don't even really know what there is, but I think there's gonna really we think there's gonna be some really good stuff in there. So let's check it out. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, 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 got it. 
Okay, that didn't work. I thought that might fall. I forgot about it though. You got it? Alright, it's full, like pretty full, all the way back, eight feet deep. Um, and it's all stuff, it's all marked because it was all a junk jaunt. And we don't know what all's here, but got some silver plate. Oh, we got some pictures. We got some big metal things. We got crates and crates and totes and boxes of stuff. So we're going to unload. We're going to stack a lot of it up. Obviously, we're not going to go through it all. We're going to stack it all up, and then we'll go through some boxes and some totes for this video. But, uh, yeah, here we are. Okay, we started unloading some, and so we thought we'll show, like, a crate now, and then we'll unload a little bit, and then another something, and then another something just as we go, keep it more random. So we'll grab this crate, bring it down here, and we don't, like I said, we don't know what's in here, honestly. Um, no. What are those? And everything They're is marked. salt cellars. Salt cellars with the scoops. Yep, we've sold a few salt cellars before. Yeah. That's cool. Then we have a... Here's a die cast car, 1955 Ford Thunderbird. Collector set of glasses. Look how young Coach looks. Yeah, that's a few years ago, huh? Mm hmm and Then we have a few die casts. GM Goodrin's racing truck. And then a NASCAR car, and then another NASCAR car. That's it for that one. Alright, and here we got a silver plate tray. We got a couple Crocs. Those are cool. Let's see if there's... Marking on the bottom? I don't see, a, I don't see any cracks, but no marking on the bottom. But there's another Croc right there. Getting no marking, a little chip there, but... And then... A vintage pottery mold looks like a bunt cake to me. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I like bunt cake. Mm, there you go. And then in the newspaper, we have a oh, pretty kitty cat figure. So, Is she a bank? Nope, just a cat figure. All right, we got a lot of the crates unloaded here, and so now the tables are not. They're going back to him. Um, we have some more crates and totes, so we thought, let's see what's in a couple totes here. Oh, pink depression glass. Okay. Pod nail. Pink depression yeah. glass. You know, setting up at these junk jaunt and stuff. They had to unwrap everything and put everything out in other depression glass. Cool. And then wrap it back up when they got ready to leave. Looks like an ink picker tote. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like... One more. Yep. Pink depression glass. Cool. That's uh -huh. a neat one. I've not seen that before. So yeah, it's like a tote full of probably all the depression glass then in there. Yeah. Sorry if that's super loud, but... Alright, then we'll check the next tote. Got some more stuff wrapped up. This is regular glass. He said there'd be some of that in here. He did say there's some Fenton pieces too, so... Yeah. Just want to kind of give a, give a sample of what we kind of have here and there. Because we haven't looked in any of this, so... Yeah, this is More white. clear glass. Yeah. Okay. All right. That isn't fun. We'll, we'll move on to the next one here. We'll try this white one. Looks like try more glassware. See what we can find in there a little bit. Crystal. Clear. Crystal. Crystal meth. Noah. Noah. Okay. Some more clear glass. There is clear glass that's worth money, but that's not fun and exciting, so we'll try something else. Oh, what do we got here? Green. Sherbert. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's uranium or not, but it's green. Some more. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
that's pretty. Yep. So probably a whole coat of green stuff. Yep, that's what I'm Honestly, saying. Honestly, we're, we're gonna call it that. And we still have like two, three layers deep here, all kinds of stuff. Let's go ahead and try to get glass stuff out and show you some more different stuff. Down here is an old enamel, enamel pot, some old cookware pieces in there. Mm -hmm. If I come up in here, we got an old like camping stove here. Beach by repeat. Amy's husband Matt, he loves picking up the old camping stoves. So it says a Coleman camp stove right there. And then in here we got some horses, like briar horses. Bunch of stuff like that. Bunch of horses. And here we have some My Little Ponies. So there's that. Okay, we got a couple that are not necessarily glassware, we don't think. So we're going to take a look in there. Look at the mirror. Okay. But then we see what is that? Yeah, sure. A compass? Got a compass on top. Binocular, maybe? Yeah, oh, yeah. big old binoculars. Some vintage binoculars. Yeah. What is in this? Some oh, oh, it's a, a jewelry, jewelry case. case. That's the bottom. And then, yeah, it's a shorter tote, so. And then in this one, this has looks like some toys, some old die casts. There's an old wrecker car of some sort. Then we have a Tonka truck tractor right here. So that's kind of cool. And we got some old toys in here. We got fart ninjas. I don't know about fart ninja, but um, there's some little tractors down here. Old car right there. A few little cars. Okay, so an old tin. Back under here is a like a roulette tray type thing. Uh, I'm making a mess, but that's okay. Then a bowl in here. Just random, just old uh, vintage toys and stuff. We just got a few boxes left in here. Um, you know, I don't know. We might peek in one more or two. One or two more, but then we have to go deliver these tables. We have to take the trailer back. We still have to go to the post office. We have to go to the booth. We have to go to FedEx. We've got lots and lots to do. Let's just take a look into like one or two more things, then we're gonna wrap this up. Okay, we're down to the last three boxes here. Let's take a peek. This. Cool. Old dog cookie jar. Pioneer woman, so he's not that old. Okay. He's cool. Maybe he's an old Pioneer woman. Yeah. Huskers. An old Huskers 94 mug. The good years. Yeah. Yes. Native vase. Ooh. Husker, Husker mug. mug. Yep. Oh, it's a candle thing. Put a candle in that spot. That's awesome. Some giraffes. I like him. What does that say? That says Maestri Prazzi? I don't know. I'm not sure. Look at that though. Uh, that's, that's cool. Race. That's cool. All right, here we go. We got some fabrics in here. Looks like doilies and a gown. Some kind of gown. Tapestry. Okay. A first aid kit. Let's check him out. 
Wow, that's cool. Yeah, ammonia inhalant. That's old. Very cool. And then we got some books. Yep. And linens. What's in here? Oh, a little pig. Yeah, cute. Shawnee Mission. And art glass. That's cute. Okay, and one more box we're going to show, and we're going to wrap this up. Okay. Alright, here's the last box. What do we got? Um, looks like maybe a big heavy glass Jar. canister. Ooh, look at that. You see how big it is? Yeah, that's very large. Look at there. Okay. That's cool. A potha? Pickle oh, jar. Cookie so jar, is. pickle jar. Yeah. A book. Dogs are barking in the backyard. This is a wooden box. It's kind of cool. Just a creamer, looks like. And a glass. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, look at there. That's cool. Interesting vase. Hand painted. This is a... It's an ash tree? Ashes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sure it is. You put the... Push, yep. push that. It's an ash tree. Well, that's cool. A small little picture. Yeah. Crackle. Crackle picture. Another book. Texas plastic melamine plate. And lastly, a big fish thing. So that's it. And then over here we have a pile of some rusty old stub metal stuff. These are like pulleys. And there's a big winch looking thing. And just some stuff like that. Over here there's some kind of. I don't know, uh, what would you call that? Some kind of press or something? I don't know. And then she found a set of... Four of these. Dishes, yeah. So, that's it now. Our garage is a big mess again. Oh, yeah. um, but that's okay. That's what we do, right? We just empty it out and then we fill it back up again. But, yeah, we didn't show you nearly... We rehome stuff. Yeah, we rehome stuff. We didn't show you nearly everything, of course, because um, we have a lot to do, but we wanted to show you some of the stuff instead of just saying, oh, we bought a buyout, but we don't know what's in it. So now we have at least an idea of things to look at. I know there was a couple of crates that had Funko Pops in them, so, I mean, Funko Pops are not as popular as they used to be, but maybe there's some good Funkos. I don't know. Um, and you Donna over here so we can wrap this sucker up. Here she is. Ooh. So, yeah. So that's it. That's... I don't know. We were gonna go garage sale tomorrow, and now I don't even know because that keepers. was today's adventure. Yes, we have an adventure every day. Every day, sometimes. All right. All right. Cool. See Anything you on else? The next one. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Hey, planes to profit .com, uh, Registration is now open. If you want to go to planes to profit in Omaha, I think it's the last oh, yes. weekend in March. So just check planes to t o spelled out planes to profit. Dot com. So check that out. We yes. will be there. We'll be there. All right, cool. Thanks. I'm Donna. I'm <laughs> I'm Steve. <laughs> I'm Donna. And we'll see you on the next Goodbye. one. Bye. <laughs>